M3 was discovered in 1764 by Charles Messier and it might be the reason he started systematical search of nebulous objects and compiling a list of them, which expanded till Messier's 40 during that year. Nebula without stars between the tail and the legs of one of the hunting dogs of Hevelius. William Herschel was the first to resolve this cluster in 1783. It is very bright and beautiful. The compression of the stars begin to rise very sharply from the outside three quarters the radius and continues gradually to the center. Being one of the largest and brightest cluster, it contains something about half a million stars located at a distance of 34,000 light years from us. Having quite a compact and dense core, it travels somewhere in our galaxy's halo, above its disk, at a distance of 40,000 light years from its center. M3 is remarkable for being very rich of variables, counting up to 212 ones. Besides this, there are also lots of blue stragglers, young hot blue stars, which age differs from the age of other cluster members. An apparent magnitude of 6.2 makes it almost invisible for a naked eye, although you can easily find it with a binocular somewhere between Alpha Canis Venicity and Erkthor. poursuivi.